This is Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's a city of music, art, film, and much more. But when many people think of this city, they might reflect on the epicenter of the Yugoslavian war. However, it's far more than just that. It has hundreds of years of history with occupation from the Ottomans to the Austro-Hungarians. In my experience, it reminds me a bit of Jerusalem and Istanbul, rolled into one, but downsized. Whilst it is a certain chaos, you can't help but feel something for this place on any visit here. The city isn't as populated as you might imagine, around 300,000 people. Split into four municipalities, the city proper covers an area of 141 square kilometers, roughly a little smaller than the country of Liechtenstein, sandwiched between Switzerland and Austria. Whilst the center is dedicated to its bloody history, there are a number of other reasons to come here besides focusing on its times of conflict. Sarajevo might have been the venue that sparked World War I, but beyond this truth lies an abundance of optimism and energy. This is a city where Christian churches lie almost side by side with mosques. In fact, it's one of the few cities in the world where you can find a synagogue, mosque, Orthodox and Roman Catholic church within one square kilometer from one another. The religious diversity is quite extraordinary and coming here definitely gives you a very different feeling to a lot of the other parts of Europe. I'm just about to get on one of these. I'm on the top of Mount Trebovitz. It overlooks Sarajevo, climbs 500 meters as an altitude of 1,164 meters. Sublime views, as you can imagine, from the top. Slightly to the right of it is the former Olympic bobsleighing track. It costs 20 convertible mark to get up, takes nine minutes, and makes a great side trip on the outskirts of Sarajevo. It's been a fortuitous experience coming here, as August sees a week long of the Sarajevo Film Festival, the 28th to be precise. Across the city are 19 different venues showing over 200 films at various points in the week. The energy here is quite captivating. And no visit here would be quite the same without walking down the red carpet of the National Theatre to catch a premiere. Danish actor Mads Mikkelsen even made an appearance known for some great movies such as Hannibal, Fantastic Beasts, Casino Royale and Polar to name just a few. Goodbye Sarajevo, where east meets west, a city which conjures up all sorts of emotions and a place I might well come back to. If you haven't already watched the other videos I've produced on the Balkans, click on the links at the end of this video. In the meantime, as always, stay safe and you'll see me very soon. Goodbye.